the teacher and now saying, look what this brought in, when really the National Monument didn't bring nothing, we've already got it. We're already getting it on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, and we're free to do with it what we want. They can log, they can hunt, they can fish, they can stock trout, which a lot of these monuments cannot do them things, and they can be changed at any time. That's what bothers me. There's no private land left in Pocahontas County hardly to hunt on because people has moved in here that despises dogs, despises people carrying guns, despises people in camouflage. So you're forced to do it on National Forest land if you want to enjoy doing it like I have for the last 36 years. And if you take that away, there's nothing left here for me. And I just, I'm not in favor of it. I mean, I think it's doing all it can be done right now. And anybody that don't agree with me, you need to drive across the Cowboy and walk the Hills Creek Falls and walk the boardwalk in Cranberry. You'll see two or three hundred people Saturday and Sunday and Friday any time through the summer you want to go back here. Just go back here and sit for four hours and watch how many people pulls in and out of that parking lot. I think you're right on weekends, but I think you're wrong during the week. Well, it's not going to change through the week. Most people's working and can't afford to travel. But there's people back here through the week, too, more than there was ten years ago. A lot more. Well, I mean, you know, the population of this country is growing. The state's but most growing. people travel on the weekends, and my theory is we cannot accommodate <clears throat> any more people than what they're already accommodating. I mean, you go down Williams River, I think there's about 15 campsites. Probably 14 of them was full this weekend. What's the cost of camp? Steve, let me get you next. This lady's had a camp for some time. I'll get you up. My name is Delcy Swearingen, and I'd just like to address two comments you made. Um, number one is that we keep talking about being busy. My family was also out there because of the gas situation, because of the economy. My family's local, 30 some of us, went down the Greenbrier River. So a lot of what you saw on that weekend may have well been our local population, our local people. And the second thing is, talk about that Forest Service, those parks being cleaned. My dad worked for the Forest Service, and that's exactly what he did. He drove that truck and cleaned those areas. And I went with my dad several times. And so, yes, they are maintained and they are cleaned, but they cut that program where my dad was working. All those seniors left, and they're now paying.